Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about radial and bilateral symmetry. The bodies of most complex animals have either radial or bilateral symmetry. Animals with radial symmetry have body parts that are equally spaced around a central point, kind of like spokes on a bicycle wheel. Because of this circular arrangement of their parts, radial symmetrical animals such as jellyfish, sea anemones, and sea urchins do not have a distinct front or back end. They also have several other common characteristics. First, almost all of them live in water. Most of them do not move very fast, and many stay in one spot or are moved along by water currents. Secondly, many of these, because they do not have a front or back end, are able to sense their environment in all directions. This way they are ready to grab food coming from any direction. Animals with bilateral symmetry are generally a little bit more complex than animals with radial symmetry. Animals with bilateral symmetry are divided into two equal halves. For instance, this fish, dog, or tiger, if you draw a line down the middle, they are equal or have a mirror image on both sides. In general, bilateral symmetrical animals are usually larger and more complex than those with radial symmetry. Also, they are able to move quickly and efficiently, and this is mainly because they are streamlined and have a balanced body. In addition, most symmetrical animals with bilateral symmetry have sense organs in the front end, and this allows them to hunt their prey aggressively and avoid the prey. So there we go, bilateral and radial symmetrical animals. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.